हेलो एवरीवन आई एम योर होस्ट आयुषी कारा सेठिया एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल पैबली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ यू कैन सेंड व्हाट्सएप नोटिफिकेशन टू कस्टमर ऑन टाइप फॉर्म सबमिशन सो लेट्स टेक एन एग्जांपल दैट यू हैव क्रिएटेड अ फॉर्म अ फीडबैक फॉर्म यूजिंग योर टाइप फॉर्म अकाउंट नाउ यू वांट दैट व्हेनेवर एनी ऑफ योर कस्टमर फिल्स दैट फीडबैक फॉर्म ऑटोमेटिकली अ मैसेज शुड बी सेंट टू द कस्टमर ऑन हिज व्हाट्सएप नंबर Now, what you need to do, you need to collect your details of the customer from the type form submissions. You need to compose a message in WhatsApp, and you need to send that message to your customers manually. But this will be a time-consuming and a tiresome process. The second option is that you can create an automation so that whenever a customer fills the form on your type form account, the feedback form, automatically a message will be sent to your customers on their WhatsApp number, stating thank you for filling up the form, thank you for your feedback, or something like that. but the problem here is that there is no direct connection between the type form and your whatsapp account so we are using a software application to create the integration and the software is pabli connect so basically pabli connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating both these software applications automatically the best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge even a non technical person can use this software application very easily so how you can set up this automation for that you have to come to my screen so welcome back to my screen this is the feedback form that i have created using my type form account and this is the whatsapp number of the customer so now i want that whenever this feedback form is filled automatically a thank you message should be sent to the customer on his whatsapp number over here so let's fill this form let's give the name as dummy name over here let's give the email address as dummy At the rate gmail dot com, I'm entering the number over here. That is the contact number and the overall feedback. So let us give it as a nice service provided. Just entering the random feedback over here. Okay, I'll just make the P capital. Okay, and let's click on submit. Now you can see that the feedback form is submitted, and as soon as we fill the form, automatically a message is received over here saying, "Hey, dummy name, thank you for filling up the feedback form. We appreciate your suggestions and will surely try to serve you the best." Regards, Pabli. So now you might be thinking that how did I manage to do this? I just filled the feedback form over here, and automatically a message is delivered to the customer. so this has become possible just because of the automation and the integration process so let's start learning the integration for that let's open the browser over here and let us type p a b b l y pabli.com now come to products and select pabli connect this is the landing page of pabli connect if you are a new user you have to just create your own account by clicking on the sign up for free button you can create your own account in just 2 minutes and if you are already a user of pabli connect simply click on sign in as i already have an account i have just click on sign in from the all apps section select pabli connect and click on access now this is the dashboard of pabli connect here we have to create a workflow like this so i have already created many workflows for creating a new workflow you have to just click on this plus sign create workflow you have to give a name to the workflow so you can give any suitable name i am just giving it as type form to whatsapp integration okay and let's click on create now we can see a trigger window and an action window So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want that whenever a customer fills the type form, automatically a message should be sent to the customer on his WhatsApp number. So here we are our trigger application would be type form. So let's open the trigger window and here in the choose application let us find type form. Select the trigger event. as new entry click on connect click on add new connection and click on connect with type form now here it is asking for the permissions so we have to just give over the access over here let's scroll down and click on accept 
authorization successful and now the type form account is connected to public connect now here we can see the form names so i have already created some forms in my type form account i'll just take you to my type form account here you can see i have already created two forms that is customer enquiry form and customer feedback form so now i want to capture the responses on customer feedback form it means whenever the customer is filling this customer feedback form automatically a message should be delivered to the customer or on his whatsapp number so we have to select the same form over here in public connect to create a connection so i'm selecting the form name as customer feedback form and let's click on save and send test request and now we can see that it is waiting for the response so in order to capture the response we have to fill up the form so here we have to just open the form okay it is taking some moments okay and now we have to just click on this share button and here we have got the form link so by copying this link and you can open it in a new tab to get the form filled i have already opened the form over here okay and now let's start filling this form let's give the name as demo name let's give the email address as demo at the rate gmail.com i'm entering the contact number over here along with the country code and give the overall feedback as happy with the services Okay, I'm just entering the random feedback over here and let's click on submit. Okay, and here we can see that the form has been filled. Now let's move back to public connect. And here we can see the responses received of the form. Okay, when we scroll down here, we can find the form name as customer feedback form. Okay, let's scroll down. And here we can find demo name. That is the name of the customer that we have entered. Here we have got the email address. Here we have got the phone number as well as the um, feedback that the customer has submitted now we want to send the thank you message or any type of message to the customer on his whatsapp number for that come to this action window and choose the application name as whatsapp cloud api so whatsapp cloud api is the cloud version of meta's whatsapp business api which can be used for sending the messages on whatsapp okay and here in the action event we have to select send template message click on connect click on add new connection and now it is asking for the token phone number id and whatsapp business account id okay for that we have to just open developers.facebook.com so if you don't have the whatsapp cloud api account you have to create a new account okay as i'm already having my account i'm just clicking on my apps and here we have to create some apps as you can see i have already created some apps that is my connect messaging app testing one two three for creating a new app you just have to click on this green sign that is create app button so how you can create an app in cloud whatsapp cloud api account for this we have already created a dedicated video you can watch the video the link is attached in the description box okay i'll just open this particular app and from here i have to just click on this whatsapp and click on getting started and here we can find temporary access token so this particular token will expire in 23 hours the validity of this particular token is for just 24 hours so how you can create a permanent access token we even we have a separate video on that so the link is attached in the description box so you can view that particular video and you can generate your permanent access token also and here we have also got the phone number id and whatsapp business account id which is required over here to create a connection okay so you have to just enter the token over here you have to enter the phone number id okay this is the phone number id and this is the whatsapp business account id so you have to enter these three things over here to create a connection and then simply click on save as i have already created a connection i'll just choose this option that is select existing connection okay and i'll click on save okay and now we can see that the whatsapp cloud api account is connected to public connect now here we have to select a template so you might be thinking what is a template 
template is simply a message that we want to send on the WhatsApp number of the customer. So as you cannot send the messages directly on WhatsApp, first we need to create a template. We have to get it approved and once the template is approved, then only we can use that particular template for sending the messages on WhatsApp. That is the reason I have already created some templates and got it approved. So let's move to the developer section over here once again. And here we can find uh, to send a test message, copy this command, paste into the terminal and press enter. To create your own message template, click here. So we are just going to click on this hyperlink that is here. And here we can see that I have already created several templates and got it approved. So if you want to create a new template, simply click on this blue sign, create message template button and you can create your own template as per your requirement. We have also created a video that how you can create a message template. You can watch that video. The link is also attached in the description box. Here I'm going to just search for my template that is feedback underscore message. This is the template that I have already created. Here you can see the message as hey, thank you for filling up the feedback form. We appreciate your suggestions and will surely try to serve you the best. Regards, Pabli. Here you can see that I have given number one in the curly braces. So this is the parameter. This is the body field and the value of this body field is going to change every time. So whenever a customer is going to fill up the form, automatically the customer name is going to reflect in this particular body field. So we have to select the same template over here in Public Connect also and the template name is Feedback Message. So let's move to Public Connect. Here we are going to select the same template that is Feedback Message. Okay, it is taking some moment. Okay, here we can see that the language code and the template ID is automatically captured. So we are not going to make any changes. Now it is asking for the recipient mobile number. So recipient will be the customer who is going to receive the WhatsApp message. We have already got the customer mobile number from the form submission over here. So we are going to just map the mobile number of the customer. Okay, from here, from the response of our type form account. So let us map the mobile number from type form. And I'll just find the mobile number. Okay. Now it is also mentioned enter the recipient mobile number with country code without the plus sign. That is the reason we have added 91 that is India's country code with the mobile number entered over here. And remember here you have to map the WhatsApp number of the customer. Okay. If the country code is missing, please add the country code before the number manually without the plus sign. Now it is asking for the body field 1. That is the name we want to send. Hey. Here we want the name to be reflected. So we will be mapping the name over here. And we will be mapping it from the type form response. We have already got the name in the response. So the name was demo name. So I am just mapping it over here. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay. And as soon as we have clicked on save and send, a message is sent to the customer on his WhatsApp number. Let's check it. Okay, and here we have got a new message. Hey demo name, thank you for filling up the feedback form. We appreciate your suggestions and will surely try to serve you the best. Regards, Pabli. So in this way, we have set up the automation and we can see that a message is sent to the customer on his WhatsApp number. So in this way, you can set up the automation and you can send the messages as per your requirement to your customers. So let's move back to Pabli Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. Now let's minimize all these windows and we are going to see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Typeform and Pabli Connect. Then Pabli Connect has captured the responses of the customer whenever the form was filled. And using those details of the customer, automatically a WhatsApp message was sent to the customer on his mobile number, on his WhatsApp number using WhatsApp Cloud API account. And in this way we have created a successful integration between Typeform and WhatsApp Cloud API using Pabli Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.